Wow. Alright. Got everybody together. Let's see what we can find. Alright. Big guy. He likes to knock things around, so killing him quickly is going to be important. Yeah, I'd be... <laughs> what enemy? <laughs> There's no enemy here. keep looking. Two more of these guys, though. Alright, get more of you guys. Okay. Get everybody up there. Working on that that hole. Okay. Is that a is that a pool ball? Yep. Most certainly is. Alright, they're gonna work on building this because I doubt that I can just jump up here. I can't even. Like, it's making me charge the whole time. Can't even jump. Is that another pool ball up here, then? No. I don't know what that is. Good job, team. Got some more Pikmin to add to the squad here. I mean, I wonder if they, if, like, Japan will paint the, the cue ball in pool with red dots. Maybe they, maybe they do. Alright, that's all the treasure. I don't know. I, I can't say I have knowledge of billiards in Japan. Twenty percent, so there's five levels here. Hello, Bob. It's all okay. You can relax. Wow. That's an electric guy. But he can kill things that are not electric. He is, he is capable of that. Alright, we're just gonna throw everybody at this fence that can handle it. We'll see if we can lower that fence without having to go through without Ochi. There's a button over there, so probably not. Woo! 
Okay. Looks like that worked out pretty nicely. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Got a little candle. That thing's massive. Didn't even get under it. They just took it in from the side. All right, we're gonna have to get off of Ochi now. Don't know what those little red weevils are. I was trying to summon Ochi with that. In all honesty, I was trying to get Ochi. Little, like, controller of some type. Oh. I'm lucky that that didn't take out any of my Pikmin that were going over it. Alright, so there should be 15 carrying that. Perfect. Everybody is accounted for. Good job, team. That's everything. Floor three of five. Let's do it. It's interesting that they'll let you go to any sub level. It's a nice quality of life decision that they've made. I don't think you could do that in the other ones. Although I don't even know if you could replay caves. I never tried to replay caves in like Pikmin 2. And you know, I only played Pikmin 3 once years ago. I don't even remember if there were caves. I'm just assuming this is fine. I'm not seeing Pikmin dying, so I'm just assuming that this is fine. Can I actually just jump on here? Yeah, that, that was faster. Um, Pink Pikmin? Yup, Pink Pikmin. Although, I have to get up there to pick them. moving walkways have changed direction. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna dig it up, though. Oh, it's a tunnel. Interesting. That's that's new. All right, they're going to get the gold. All right, there's a lot. There's a lot of things happening here. We're just going to have to one thing at a time. But you guys keep keep doing what you're doing. All right. Uh huh. I am hmm, I am confused. All right. Let me see here. So there's a walkway here. What happens if I throw a Pikmin? Ah! <laughs> Why is the tunnel so close to the to where I'm trying to, to do things? All right. What happens if I throw a Pikmin up here? Where'd he go?
Are they just going in a loop? Okay, yes, they're going in a loop. But if I change the direction... Like now... Now they're gonna go to- some of them are gonna go to the left. Which is gonna launch them over there. They're gonna ride this. And if I can get ten of them over there... Then they'll push that box for me. Oh, of course, I'm short one! <laughs> Heckin' gosh. Alright. What an interesting, like, Rube Goldberg type of contraption we got going here. I'm just glad that all the, the yellow Pikmin I threw on there aren't just, like, dead. <laughs> that they didn't just, like, get introduced to the abyss. Alright, that should be more than enough that get over there now. I wonder if I do this. No, they can't figure out to get onto the Oh, but those guys were smart enough. Oh, maybe they all were smart enough. Maybe it's the ones in the other side of the tunnel? No, I'm missing... Oh. How did you guys get up there? Okay, but how do I get up to the pink Pikmin? I have to get onto that. Oh, I think I see. I think if I want to do that, I have to get up here. And then I have to go here, and I have to jump here and into this. Aha! We got the pink ones. They can fly. They can fly? The variety of Pikmin types never ceases to amaze me. Let me look these up. As their name suggests, winged Pikmin have sprouted wings and can fly. Of course, this means that they can transport things by air and can save time that way. Their ground attacks are lackluster, but when it comes to aerial combat, they're unmatched. Huzzah! The sky is no longer out of our reach. We'll get much more exploring and rescuing done with the help of these Pikmin. They'll also ride on Ochi, though. Okay. We got all 70 Pikmin, the radar is done dinging, I think we're good to go to the next level. That wasn't, like, an entertaining little, like, contraption level. <sighs> wow. Alright, I see lots of lava. Bam. No, keep going. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What is that? Oh, it's a dart. Okay.
Alright, let's just see what this is gonna take me. Oh, another candy pop bulb. Mmm, yellows. Not to insult our friend Yellow Pikmin in the chat, but uh, I find yellows have fewer, like, you, you rarely need more. Like, I'm going to throw reds into combat more than I'm going to throw yellows into combat. And so I'm going to lose reds more often. But yellows, like, if I have a squad of, like, you know, if I have a total of, like, 100 yellows, I'm probably not going to need too many more. Could always be entirely wrong about that, but I've found that my my supply of reds tends to be the one that needs reinforcement. Maybe that just means I'm more protective of my yellows. All right. Hello there. Alright, that should probably be everybody that can use it. I'm glad I locked onto that because my controller really wanted to drag. I'm assuming those are wild reds. Um, let me, let me get Ochi and deal with that. Alright, switch to Ochi. Call these guys to him. Where are the reds all going? Oh, I think they're going to, to build this. Okay. All right, yeah, no, they're, they're going to build that, which is fair enough. Yep, right. they're going to take all that gold. Not really sure what the purpose is of this, if I'm going to be fair. What is this? Oh, is it to get rid of the lava over there? Fair enough. Thank you for turning back off. You did it. The fire's out. That it is indeed. Alright. Let's take these guys out. Everything's going all right. Everything's going all right. Do I have to parkour across there to get to the... to get to the exit? That's kind of funny. Never seen park uh, platforming in a Pikmin game. You guys are taking forever to dig this up. Let's let's have the pink ones. Let's see how good they are at this. They're 
doing pretty all right. All right. That's all the treasure. I got all the Pikmin. On to the final floor. So where's this discotheque and the dancing Pikmin that I was promised? Oh. I, I don't recognize this enemy. Oh, there's a castaway nearby. Oh boy. Oh, it's a giant ass disco spider. Got it. Why is there... I'm guessing the color matters, so I'm going to throw the yellows at it. Maybe the color doesn't matter. Oh, this is the time to rush it, I guess. Yup. It's gonna blow up. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> what an odd encounter. Not really, I'm not really sure what just happened there. And there's the castaway. Easy. Kind of an odd dungeon to to reintroduce the pink Pikmin though. Like they I had no real use for them. They were just kind of there. They just kind of exist. Uh, I don't know why. Slowly bringing in uh, our castaway. Who this? Sheba, founder of Alion Academy's Planetary Science Club. This student was determined to see the stars along with her friends. Well, judging from the name of the school and club, this has to be one of the students that came with the teacher we rescued. Imagine being stranded like this at such a young age. Poor thing must have been downright terrified. Well, no longer a concern because she's safe now. Ah. I wish I didn't have to deal with the recovery so much from a rush so that I could use it as a better traversal tool. I should look and see if I can just increase Ochi's running speed. We'll read all of these uh, at the end of the day, which it pretty much is the end of the day. 100% nailed it. It's great. So the only Pikmin that I have yet to find now are white and purple. If there are going to be white and purple in this game. And then any other new types that they want to introduce. P2 can toss small stones at creatures. I don't really... I don't really know what that's, that's for. That seems kind of lame. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I'm probably, like, the end of the day anyway, so... We're just gonna end the day here.
Para 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 I'm glad that the ed that oh, I'm glad that my my NPC allies aren't uh breathing down my neck anymore, or at least not as much. They have a habit of constantly chiming in all the time. I think one of the interesting things about the first Pikmin game that this one's missing is that the first one really felt like you're on your own, you're exploring this world, you're noting all your stuff down, you're just kind of trying to survive. It's kind of a lonely experience. This game, there's so many people. Sometimes they won't shut up. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of a lot of treasure here. I got 2,000 sparkling in one day. All right, we got the orbital communication sphere, face wrinkler, lamp of inspiration, mock a bottom, stately rubber cutie, bright sword, thrill ride track, sphere of vitality, sphere of truth. Olfactory Sculpture, Soul Reverberator, Turn of Events Track, Relentless Spear, Spear of Beginnings, Amplified Amplifier, and some nuggets. We, we made significant progress going from 1% to 17%. The 1% felt a bit offensive. Captain Olimar is from Hokotate, isn't he? Mule. I hear that planet's quite well known for its vegetables. Apparently, they're indescribably delicious. Honey. Well, it's always been a dream of mine to one day eat a genuine Hokotate golden pick pick carrot. But they're so expensive. I haven't had the right occasion to justify it. Oi. Ah, yes, golden pick pick carrots. Just talking about them brings me back to Mother's Kitchen and her amazing cooking. She'd blend them up in a mixer until they were liquefied. Nutritious, delicious, and extremely efficient for consumption. Amaru? She took all those beautiful, expensive carrots and made juice? Does that even count as cooking? I mean, you're making all, you're making juice all in the third game. I wonder if Russ is from the same planet as the characters from the third game. Not that I really remember any of them either. Third game is really the one that I, rem I remember the least. Maybe one day I'll go back and play it again.